I'd like you to welcome to the stage Flora Devlin, our senior product analyst, to talk to you about building with data. Round of applause. A couple of years ago, if you asked me what I did for work, I'd start by saying that I worked as a data analyst at a tech company. I then quickly move on to the technical skills that I used in my job. So talk about algorithms, programming languages, the ways that we collect data. I focused far too much on the technical side of my job. And it's not that it's not exciting or interesting. Unlike most people, I don't lack enthusiasm when I talk about statistics. But by focusing on just those technical methods, I really missed out on why what I do, why analytics is important to Intercom or to any company. So now, if I start talking about what I do, I really focus on why I do it, the goals I want to achieve. And so this evening, I'm going to bring you one of the most important goals for analysts at Intercom. And that's using data to make informed and effective decisions as we build Intercom. Before we get started, I just want to give you a high-level overview of how we build in general at Intercom. So we have a sort of process for how we do this, like many companies have a product development process, and there's three stages to it. So the first one is called setup. And this is where we try to really deeply understand a problem that our customers have. And we think about solving this from first principles. This is really big picture thinking. So the sky's the limit here. Number two is what we call solve. And this is where we take that big picture thinking, we really boil it down into the minimum product that we can build, then ship it to our customers. We really want to learn and iterate at this stage. So you can see we sort of cycle through. And then number three is close out. This is where we take all those learnings from phase two, from Solve, and then we have this finalized product that we then ship to our customers. And so you probably start here thinking, you already use data, you use analytics, what's so different about what we do at Intercom? What am I gonna tell you that's different this evening? So typically, analytics is used at this beta and then the evaluate and close stage. And this is after we've shipped product to customers, we've put something in front of them. At Intercom, we use data at all these stages of the product development process. And if you go back to that goal that I mentioned, so helping to make better decisions, it makes sense. We make a lot of decisions before we've even shipped product to the customers. So if you take the design phase of a project, we're making a lot of assumptions at this point. Assumptions about how customers use our product, how they might use our product. I was in a design review last week, and as an exercise, I counted. We're in the room for an hour, and we made 10 decisions. And they might seem like small decisions at the time, but each decision that you're making is essentially taking you down a different path. And a different path, in this case, is a different product. So we could end up here with product A, and then if we'd made one different decision at that start, it'd be a very different place and a different product. So you're working on a product team, if you're a PM or a designer, how do you know whether you should be a product A or product B? How do you know which is the right place to be? And I'm going to make a bold statement here. Bear with me. So anywhere you're making these decisions, I really think you can benefit from data and from using data. And for me, there's two really strong reasons why that's true. The first one is data's really good at providing this common ground of what you do know and what you don't know. It really helps teams when they're making decisions. It helps everyone to participate because you all have the same information in front of you. You can all agree on what you know. The second one is sparking creativity. A lot of you might know that feeling when you've been working on the same project, or the same problem, week in, week out. It's really hard to see something in a new light or with a new perspective. Data can bring that. It can bring some new information into the room. It can make people think about something differently. It can shake, it can shake things up. It really can encourage participation from the whole team. So it's not just better decisions, you're also making much more collaborative decisions. But getting to this place, this magical place where all the squares are pink and you're using data all the time, it's not something that you can just go out and be prescriptive about and say we need to use data in every single decision that we're making. Like as the analyst, I really need to know how those decisions are made, 
where they're made, who makes them, and also be able to bring that information to the table in a way that really compels people to think about something in a different way. And throughout my career and my time at Intercom, I found there's two things that have been really impactful to help make this happen. And the first one of these is strong partnerships. I'm going to tell you a little story. So when I first started at Intercom, I joined the team that was just about to launch our new Messenger product. They'd been working on this product for quite a long time, a long time before I joined Intercom. And they had this list of really thoughtful but quite specific questions that they wanted to ask of the data. So this is day one, meeting with the team. And then I went back, I went home, came back on day two, I'd had a think, and I had a list of questions. I had different questions, new questions. I was really eager and excited about all these ways that data could help the team. The thing is, we were there, they had their list of questions, I had mine, and it was the second day that I'd been working with them. I can definitely say there's a few disagreements or some tension in the room for some of those days. The problem was, I hadn't worked with this team before. I didn't understand what was important to them, the decisions that had been made in the past, how they made decisions, how they thought through problems, even the emotions in the room. Remember, this was really close to a big product being launched. It was a fairly stressful time. And they didn't know me either, or how I worked. And I felt like I was advocating for every single decision that I wanted to make with data. We didn't have any shared context, and that was a real problem for us. So getting to this place of shared context, you really need to build those strong partnerships with your team. And they take time, they're nuanced, they're personal. There's not one thing that I can tell you that works for you to get to that place. But for me, being embedded with your product teams and being present really, really helps. So this could be going to daily stand-ups, going to design reviews, sitting with a team on really important days, like when you're launching a product. I mentioned design reviews. So that's a really, really good way to understand how decisions are made, why decisions are made, who makes them, like who participates. And then if a decision is being made where I feel like I could add something, we have some insights, I can do it there and then. So it allows us to move really quickly as well. Even simple things, like being in the internal Slack channels, is really helpful. It allows you to understand the dynamics of the team, people's favorite emojis, and it allows me to share data in a much more informal way. So number one is strong partnerships. Number two is storytelling. And in this context, storytelling is creating a really thoughtful narrative around the data that you're sharing. It's the idea that the data you analyze is only ever going to be as good as the story you can tell. So some of the most impactful work I've done has been very simple, did not need that maths degree type analysis. And it's the story or the visualization that I've done has really, really made the difference. And equally, I've done stuff that I thought was really interesting, used every stats method that I knew, and shared it with people, and nobody is interested, because they don't know what to do with it. They don't know what it means for them. So recently, I was working with one of our teams, and we all had this shared assumption that customers worked in one way. So if they were working in a team, they all shared this way of working. I did some analysis, showed that the opposite was true. They actually, had, they actually had multiple different ways of working together. So I was really eager and excited to share this with the team. I threw it into a report, not my finest hour, and sent it over. And it literally sat there gathering dust. And you can tell these things. You can check on Google Drive when nobody looks at your report. So persistent, I went back. And I could see that we were going to start. I could see that we were going to start this on the wrong foot, with the wrong assumption. We were going to go down the wrong path. So I went back to the drawing board, tried to, and I crafted a story. And in this case, the story was using the same data, just a simple visual representation, and it clearly showed there was more than one workflow. There was success this time. The team printed this out. We had it on the wall in our room. It's definitely a difference from the first time around in that terrible report. And we were able to start on the right foot. We had this common ground. We could all agree that there was multiple workflows and we were kind of going off on the right path. So number two was storytelling. 
So for me, my role at Intercom is so much more than the technical skills or the technical side of my job. It's ultimately about helping teams make better decisions as we build Intercom. And as I mentioned, product development, it's continuous decision making. It's not just after you've built or shipped that product. And there's two things I found to be really impactful, making sure that I'm present and effective in those decisions. The first one of those, strong partnerships, and the second is storytelling. I'm going to leave you with one question. And I hope whether you work with data at the moment or you don't, or you work in product or you don't, it'll inspire you to think about the role of analytics in your company. And that's how are you using data to make informed and effective decisions as you build your company. Thank you. <laughs>